fabulous people welcome back to the channel for all the babes who create their own life trends my name is anastasia and this channel is all about giving you tips tricks and inspiration to break from the society norms and to create a life of your dreams today i have a very very juicy topic prepared for you and i'm not going to lie this is a second time that I am recording it. I filmed this video before, a few days ago, and when I rewatched it, I still felt like there is so much more that I can share with you, that I can go into so many more details. I feel like I've been preparing for years to share this information with you. And today, hopefully, I will be able to do that. Today, I'm going to share with you why I quit my corporate job, what happened after I quit my corporate job, and this video you definitely do not want to miss, especially if you're thinking of a very drastic career change, something that I've done. So by the end of this video, you will have lots of useful information you will feel like you know what you're getting yourself into. And most importantly, you will feel like you're not alone. I've done it. So many other people before me have done it. You definitely can do it. So without further ado, let's do this. Let's dive right into it. And before, of course, you know what I'm going to ask you. I would be truly grateful if right now or by the end of this video, you will give it thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to this channel because trust me, there is so much good stuff waiting for you. So you definitely do not want to miss it. So join the tribe and let's get started. So let me give you a little bit of a background who I was in a previous life. So you guys, will know my backstory so you will see what a drastic career change i've made when i was studying in high school i received a full scholarship to a private university in north carolina which of course for a girl who was born in a tiny town in soviet union you can imagine that was just the ultimate dream so once I received a scholarship, I decided to enroll into business administration with concentration in management and international business. It wasn't something that I was passionate about, but it was something that my parents suggested slightly, as you know, parents can. And to be honest, I never explored what I'm truly passionate about. I knew things that I loved, but I couldn't possibly imagine how I can implement that in the real life and how I can make money with those things by doing those things. Growing up in Soviet Union, none of us could possibly imagine that you can be doing something that you truly enjoy or something that you truly passionate about and love. You were just doing something that most people were doing and what you were aiming for is stability. So when I chose business administration with concentration management and international business, it was all about stability. In my head, it was all about those stable financial jobs that you can do for the rest of your life. So while I was studying in college, I watched the Wall Street movie and something in me said, wow, this is something that I think I want to do. Something about those stunning New York City apartments, fast-paced life, not sleeping, watching the markets from all over the world, being on top of all the news. Something in that gave me this spark, this craving for that kind of life. I don't know why, maybe I just like to torture myself like that, but at that point that seemed like an amazing idea. So I decided that once I graduate, I want to go into investments. So my last semester in college, I was 
completely maxed out in credit hours because I was doing double major. At the same time, I had three jobs and an internship at the bank on top of that. So every single day after college, I would drive to the bank and I was trained pretty much on every entry-level banking job that you can possibly imagine. Everything from a special projects administrator to customer service representative, I've done all of those jobs. So I knew banking system from inside out. Once I graduated from the university, I was offered a job at the bank and there my career in financial services started. Fast forward 10 years later, I am working as an investment advisor for wealth management at one of the biggest banks in the US. Wow, dream came true. Big goals, big decisions, fast paced, I should be enjoying it, right? <laughs> this is what I wanted. But there is something inside of me that says, is there all it is to it? Is that how your life is going to be for the rest of your life? And something inside of me is just saying, there has to be more to that. There has to be something more to that. So I started applying to other positions at other companies and not long after that one of the big four accounting companies and you guys know which ones i'm talking about i will not name specifically which one it was offers me a position over a lifetime it was absolutely incredible something that anyone can possibly dream about another stable job huge pay all the benefits you can possibly imagine and at that moment, I said, wait a minute, I have to think about it. I don't think, I don't think I want to do that at all. I don't think so. Right around that same time, one of my best friends has been telling me slowly and slowly hinting, whispering into my ear, Anastasia, you are meant for bigger things. You are meant to do so much more than this. You are meant for so much greater. You're bigger than life. You have to do more. And at the beginning, I was getting so upset when I was hearing that. I was like, absolutely not bigger than this what are you talking about how much bigger can it get i'm on top of the world but deep inside i knew he was right even though it took me years to first start hearing what he has to say then to accept it realize and understand that i was not truly in love with the job I was in love with the idea of the job, something that I saw in my teens, in my college dorm room. And from there, the idea that I supposed to love investments was born. But in the reality, I wasn't in love with it. I was not in love with what I was doing. And my soul was craving a change, was craving to do what I was truly meant to do. So this is one interesting thing that I did that hopefully will help you to look at leaving your nine to five in a way that maybe is not as scary. I told myself, Anastasia, I'm giving you a year. Let's take a year off. You already created a reputation for yourself in the financial industry it will be easy for you to get back at it. Let's be honest. Let's take one year, one year to figure out what you want to do and do that thing. If by the end of one year, you feel like, listen, I tried, I gave myself this one year and it didn't work, you can always go back and continue to do this now really for the rest of your life but let's give it a chance. So I went into the office of my ex-boss 
and said, I am given my two week notice. Was it difficult? Honestly not, because I didn't just wake up one day and decided to do it. It was truly months and months thinking, processing, realizing, digesting, and deciding that this is the right path for me. So when I went there, it was not impulsive. It was something that was done in my head. It was a done deal. And I did that around my birthday. So it was kind of like a birthday present to myself to start a new life and see where that path leads me. So at that point, to be honest, I was lost. I quit my job and right around that same time, I actually started a blog, which honestly consisted of the things I always truly enjoyed. It was about fashion, fitness and travel. Those three things that honestly most people love. So I started writing about those things. But other than that, when I quit my job, I truly did not know. I didn't have an exact goal in mind what I want to do. So imagine that. I am 30 years old. I dedicated 10 years of my life to a career that I am no longer in any way, shape or form connected to. And I have no idea what I'm going to do next. And it was a scary feeling because not during any years of my life, I had a chance to explore what I truly love. So it was scary. I still remember that first morning when I woke up and I poured myself a cup of coffee, sat in front of the computer and said, what the heck am I going to do now? No one is giving me directions. No one is saying what I need to do, what tasks I need to complete, how to complete them, what are my goals? How am I evaluating my success? What are the metrics? <laughs> It was, it's a nervous laugh. It was a total disaster, guys. I, to this day, I remember the day and I can tell you, I had no idea what I was doing. So honestly, the way I've done it, I do not recommend for anyone to do it. Unless you love extremes. If you love extremes, that method of quitting your job is definitely for you. But for me, it was scary, especially the first months. I really had no idea what I was doing. I really had no clear goals in mind, except for one. I really wanted to make women feel like they can do anything in this world. And I wanted for them to feel confident. Confident about themselves and things that they do in life. So I started a blog, as I told you earlier, it had all to do with traveling, fashion, and fitness. So those things that kind of helping you to really take care of your body. And by taking care of your body, you're taking care of your mind. You guys know it's all connected. So in addition to that blog, I started a fitness YouTube channel but it wasn't any kind of YouTube channel. What I decided to do, I decided to travel to different places around the world and film workouts in the most unique places in the world. So I would do a squat challenge in front of a big band in London or full body workout on the beach in Mexico. So I was all over the world traveling, filming workouts, hoping that this unique approach to the workouts would get me somewhere. Mind you, I still have no clue <laughs> where this will lead me. So the great thing about this is that once I took a chance, the universe or God, whatever you believe in, started showing me in different ways that I am on the right track. So. Soon after I started the YouTube channel, one of the biggest daytime television shows, the Steve Harvey show, which I've always been such a huge fan of. When I was in my early 20s, I read 
one of his books and it just someone who I always looked up to. So to be invited to his show and to have a chance there on his show to tell my story, to show my channel and to inspire women, all the audiences around the world with my story. That was still to this day, one of the best days of my life and one of the highlights of my life, which I would never ever had that moment, had that day, if I didn't have courage to quit my stable corporate job. So life was already rewarding me for taking that risk, for taking that chance. Right around that same time, I decided that since I am showing different workouts around the world, and even though I've been in fitness my entire life, I need to get certified. So I got one of the best certifications in the US as a personal trainer from NASM and boy oh boy guys from investment advisor to a personal trainer if that's not a career jump a career change a career switch i don't know what it is so i started getting a lot of clients online and at that same time i decided to move to rome italy that's a separate story guys if you want to know how I've done it, why I've done it, all that good stuff. I'm happy to make a separate video on that chapter of my life. But yes, I created a blog, created a YouTube channel, went on Steve Harvey's show, became a personal trainer and moved to Rome, Italy. <laughs> if this is not one of the craziest stories about quitting a job, it gets better, guys. It gets better. Once I'm in Rome, Italy, of course, I'm networking like crazy. I don't know anyone, but I'm slowly getting my clientele. I'm getting my clientele of uh, people who want to work out. It's all women. I always trained only women. That was something that was important for me. And right around that same time, <laughs> I promise, guys, this is almost the last time you're going to hear that but right around that same time i started to develop this sensation that feeling that passion for fashion and to be honest it, it wasn't that i was developing it it was always inside of me but it was just something that i never had a chance to explore and then to express and it started coming out in different small ways again i felt like the universe was leading me the entire time to that because it started to show up in small things like one of my friends would say anastasia can you please dress me up for that event and show my work on her youtube um, one of my other friends would um, come to visit me in rome and say anastasia can you help me choose presents for my friends back home and when I would go and help him to find those presents, he would be always amazed because I've never met those people, but I knew precisely what each of those people would need. And he told me one time, he said, Anastasia, how are you not yet in fashion? How are you not exploring that? You definitely need to explore that. So the more those hints were given to me, the more I started toying around with the idea of fashion. And slowly, again, I will not go into that in this video because this is not what it's about, but I became a personal stylist slash personal shopper, which was, wow, right? <laughs> now we're going from investment advisor to personal trainer to personal stylist and personal shopper, right? Incredible. And honestly, when all of those things happened and I finally, and all those steps led me to the fashion industry, that's when it all really clicked for me. That's when I realized truly that this is what I was meant to do. I was excited. I was 
passionate, I was driven, I was waking up every day in the city of my dreams doing what I truly love and to this day I just know that this is what I was meant to do and it was so worth fighting for and doing all those things, taking all those scary decisions, making those sacrifices, it was all worth it at the end. My journey did not end there because those of you who no, I went and I did ayahuasca in Costa Rica a few years ago and there, I really didn't talk about it uh, before, but there it was revealed to me that my fashion career is going to progress and at some point I'm going to become a fashion designer. I know for a lot of you who've never done ayahuasca, that seems like you are crazy. But for those of you who've done ayahuasca, you guys know, once the truth is revealed to you, you can really unsee it and hear it. And that's just how it was for me. So this past year, I actually released my first collection of t-shirts. I decided, of course, to start slowly. And yeah, it went amazing and from there on, it just opened so many more doors and opportunities. And I'm honestly enjoying every single thing I do in fashion. I have clients from all over the world and it just been truly a dream. I don't know how else to describe it. It's been a dream and I know for sure that all those years, all those steps, everything, led me to this moment and that's why i felt like now i'm ready to share my story with you now as i shared with you my story i want to leave you with a few valuable lessons that i learned on the way throughout this entire journey so number one is i truly recommend no, I ask of you, find something that you are passionate about, something that truly sets your soul on fire. And I remember one time, I believe it was Gary Vee that I was listening to, and he said a really great thing that really stuck with me. He said, you have to find something that you are so passionate about that even for the rest of your life, the outside world does not approve. You get absolutely no recognition for. But that thing makes you so happy, so excited that you would do it despite all of that. Meaning you would do it just based out of a pure passion for it. And for me, I know for sure that what I'm doing, it's that. And I wish for all of you to find that thing. The second lesson is to try different things. Please don't be afraid to try, to experiment, to realize that that's not what you want to do and to start all over again. I'm telling you, I've done it, as you can tell from my journey. And especially if you've never done any soul searching like I've never done before, this will be such a crucial step in the process of finding what you're truly passionate about. Without trying different things, without really trying them and understanding and listening to what's happening inside of you, you will never truly find your passion. So it's such a necessary step don't skip it. Don't be afraid to try things. And then most importantly, say, no, I don't think that is my cup of tea. I think I want to try that and try that. And even again, you will say, you know what? I don't think that's either a thing that I'm passionate about or want to do for the rest of my life. It is okay. Stop and try again. Try and try and try until you find that thing. The society expects from us to become expert in one thing and one thing only and then do that thing for the rest of your life and i'm here to tell you we are in 2021 those society rules norms they don't exist anymore you have to try many things if you're not sure what you're passionate about 
And that is the only way you will find what you truly, truly love. Lesson number three, be prepared that it is not going to happen overnight. Guys, overnight success does not exist. Listen, it might happen for you overnight, and I truly, I wish that for you. But for the majority of us, it's not going to happen overnight. It will require a lot of patience. I mean, hear me out. It will require a lot of patience. If you truly want to build something solid, successful, exciting, it will take a lot of patience. And I'm here to tell you, this is not a bad thing. Because most of us need to actually grow mentally for the careers that we want. We have to mentally be prepared for it. Trust me, looking back when I was at the Steve Harvey show, you give me right after that show a big business to manage with clients, with all the issues and things that come up, I would have failed. Life needed to take me through all the steps, all this journey, all those issues, so I can become a person I am today, so I can handle those things, so life can give me more. And that is the only way, and that is the beauty of it. So be patient. Please remember that, be patient. And be prepared that life will test you over and over and over and over again. Be ready. But it is not something to be afraid of. It is not something to be scared of. It is part of the journey. And finally, be prepared that the closest people to you will not be always supporting of your decision. Even the ones who supported you at the beginning to leave your stable corporate job, trust me, even they will have those times when they see you struggling or when they hear you complaining or when they see that things are not happening as fast. There will be a time when they will suggest you that maybe it is a good idea to go back to your previous stable nine to five. And this is when I want for you to tune everything and everyone out. Remember, you're the only decision maker in this and you are the only one who knows what's best for you. So learn how to tune out the entire world and focus on the life that you want to create. I hope you found this video helpful. I would be so happy if at least one person and one person only would benefit from this video. If many people can benefit from this video, it would just honestly make my life because I poured all my soul into creating this. And if you haven't done so, I would be grateful if you press that like button and of course, leave me any comments, ask me any questions, share your own story. If there is some particular thing or specific thing that you want to know, leave me that in a comment. And of course, I would be so happy to respond. You guys know that I respond to everyone because I'm truly, truly passionate about inspiring you and sharing with you all the information that I hopefully you will find helpful, beneficial. That information that hopefully will change lives and have you truly live the life of your dreams. All right, fabulous. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and go create the life of your dreams. And I'll see you in the next video. Big kiss.